Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm taking a look at an interesting device I ran across on Amazon just by chance. It is a device that allows you to make s'mores in the microwave oven. It's kind of a weird device with hands on it. I don't know. It seems strange and I like strange. So let's check it out in today's video. All right, so let me head to the kitchen to try the s'mores maker. And after that, I'm gonna also try a candy bar I bought from the UK, which reminds me of something I ate when I was a kid. So stay tuned for that. This progressive prep solutions microwave s'mores maker, it supposedly allows you to make s'mores in the microwave in 30 seconds. And look how strange that thing looks. Since I prefer weird gadgets, this one definitely stood out. So let's crack this open and see how it really works. It almost looks like some weird like 30s cartoon character toy. Very strange. It's just plastic. It's, it's, there's def, it's not high construction quality. There's a reservoir for water. And there's not much to it really. Crack these instructions open and see what it says. It doesn't even say to clean it off first, which I'm going to clean it off first and then I'll read the instructions. Open the water reservoir and add seven ounces of cold water to the fill line. Fill line is right there. I don't have to really worry about measuring seven ounces because there's a fill line in there. Step one, check. Lift arms, oh, they're already lifted. And assemble one or two s'mores, graham crack, whoops. It's just, this arm just fell off. It's, it's pretty cheap feeling, I gotta say, it's pretty cheap. All right, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do two. Why, why would I just do one when I can have two? All right, then a marshmallow and another graham cracker. Lower the arms to the s'mores so the hands are flat. I guess that's it. I guess that's it. Microwave 30 seconds and it should be done. Oh, don't drop it, James. All right, we'll see. I mean, that's what it shows, right? This is the before picture. 30 seconds, we get the after. And... I'm a little nervous, I gotta admit. And here we go. Of course it has his back to me. So, oh, wow. Let's see what we got here. All right. Slightly squeeze together while allowing to cool as chocolate will continue to melt after cooking. They don't really say how long to let it sit there after you smush it together. I'm just gonna try, I'm gonna leave one and I'm gonna try the other one. Ooh, wow. Well. I mean, it looks, it looks pretty melted. I gotta take a real bite this time. I almost forgot how messy those are. But taking a closer look here, I mean, I think it did a pretty good job, but these two came out great. Now let's try some of the variations and see how they work. You know, s'mores aren't usually very difficult to make to begin with, but that was pretty easy and the instructions seemed like they were perfect the first time out, so I'm happy about that. Speaking of the instructions, they have a few others here that they suggest you could try, like it says Ritz cracker cheese peanut butter. Is that something that you would try? I, <laughs> I don't know if I would or not. I don't know if I would, but I am right now. Are the instructions say Ritz cracker, cheese. Maybe I'll just put the peanut butter right on the Ritz. I, is peanut butter and cheese a good combination to you? It's not really something I can say I've ever really thought much about. All right, well, that's, that's what it is. I will center it below these little hands right here. All right, and this is the before. I have no idea how that's gonna taste or turn out. And we're off. And? Oh no, <laughs> whoa, no, no. Wow, that's a disaster. Oh, come on now. It's amazing that it works so well with the s'more. Look at this, I can't eat that. Wow, that really did not turn out well. What am I supposed to do with this? I don't even know. I do wanna try it. Even though it's a big mess, I wanna try it anyways. Wow, that's really, that's really bad. That is a culinary masterpiece right there. What do you guys think? Oh yeah, 
This reminds me of the time that I tried the grilled cheese, the chocolate grilled cheese sandwich in Puerto Rico. That didn't really impress me that much either, but here we go. Peanut butter cheese Ritz crackers mangled in the microwave. Let's try it out. I mean, I don't hate it. I don't love it. That's a strange combination, but I'm going to clean this out now and try one more. Oh, look at this. 30 seconds is obviously a little bit too long for this one. Anybody want that? It's free. The instructions were saying some different variations, so I just kind of picked some of the variations they mentioned. I'm going to build another one. Let's try that. All right, so I kind of created another uh, concoction here. This is kind of based on their recipe guide, but I kind of varied a little bit. I've got chocolate graham cracker, banana slices, marshmallow, topped off with chocolate graham cracker. Put the hands in place. Let's do it. All right, there's the before. 30 seconds, we get in after. And we're off. Here we go. Oh, uh oh. It kind of felt a little lopsided. Let's, let's see what the problem is here. All right, I think we're supposed to push it down for a little bit. Doesn't say how long. There's no chocolate to melt, so I don't really know what I'm supposed to be waiting for. There's a lot of marshmallow and there's some bananas in there, but they don't melt, so obviously they're not gonna change shape. But let me try this out. Let me try one more bite. Let's take a look at this one now, after it's cooled for a little bit. I mean, it's kind of what I expected. It kind of tastes like I expected too. All right, so I think the s'mores maker works. It's a pretty simple device. It's kind of foolproof, but it did work like, like it advertises. The cheese and the peanut butter, maybe that was a little bit too long of a time, but that was what they said. Otherwise, I think it works. I'll have a link below if you want to try one yourself. And speaking of trying something, I've got one more thing I'm going to open before this video is over. All right, a little change of scenery for me here now. This next thing I wanted to try out has nothing to do with the s'mores maker whatsoever. My son and I were talking about candy bars of all things recently because that's the kind of stuff that father and son does, I guess. But I was trying to remember a candy bar from the 70s. And I was mistakenly thinking of the $100,000 bar, which was later renamed the 100 grand. But what I was actually thinking about was the Marathon Bar. And the Marathon Bar has not been sold since 1981. So that's how long ago I'm going back. But after doing some research, it turns out that Cadbury puts out a nearly identical product in the UK called the Curly Whirly, I believe it's called. So I ordered one from Amazon thinking it was a US-based vendor, but it wasn't. It was actually sent from the UK. I have no idea it's gonna be melted. I don't know what condition it's gonna be in. But if it's not melted and if it's in an edible condition, I'm gonna try it right now and see if my memory serves me very well to see how close it is to the original Marathon Bar. This is cold, it's been in the fridge for about two weeks. Well, the size is right because I remember the Marathon Bars are really long and they're kind of this braided shape. Oh, I hope it's not melted. I have a feeling it's gonna be melted. How could it be shipped from the UK this time of year and not be melted? It's cold right now. Let's see. Oh, please not be melted. Please don't be melted. Oh, there's multiples in here. I guess I should have noticed when it said four pack on the on the description, but you know, I'm, I'm just getting overexcited here. I kind of remember the marathon bar being a little bit thicker than this, but that was over 40 years ago, so I could be wrong. Here we go. Please don't be melted. Oh, I don't think it's melted. It's not melted. It's not melted. Look at that chocolatey goodness right there. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there should be caramel inside. Or do you say caramel? I don't know. Let me break this in half. Oh, there's no breaking. It's just bending. I forget it. I'm not going to try to break it. Let me just try it out. 40 years later, or more than 40 years later, will it be the same as I remember it? Probably not, but who knows? Oh wow, that's chewy. That's really chewy. I'm gonna take one more bite, just merely for observational purposes, not because I'm trying to eat all this. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. All right, I'm gonna say the Curly Whirly is not exactly the same as the Marathon as I remember it. I mean, the memory is not always gonna be that accurate, but I remember the Marathon Bar being a little bit wider, and I don't remember it being that chewy unless my teeth are just weaker or something. But that being said, the Curly Whirly is pretty good, and it's a, probably the closest you're going to get to it without someone resurrecting the actual marathon bar. 
I mean, Curly Whirly is pretty close, but they don't have it here in the US unless you're going to a specialty shop. But I do want to try more uh, snacks from around the world. This year, I'll have to try them here in Las Vegas, but next year in 2021, I'm going there to try more snacks and more food from around the world because I got to get out of here. All right, so going back to my original point of this review with the s'mores maker, it does work. It certainly worked for the s'mores. The, the cheese and peanut butter one, I'm, I'm not really sure. Maybe I just went too long on that one. There isn't much to it, but it delivered on what it promised to be. In fact, I'm going to give one of those away. That's right. I just decided right now I'm going to give one away. So in the description below, there will be a link to purchase and for my written review of it. And in that article will be a link to the giveaway. So look out for that as well. As far as the Curly Whirly goes, I'm glad I tried it. It brought me back a little bit to my youth when I used to eat the marathon bars. It just tells me I need to go to the UK and try more of the food they had there because I definitely am missing out. So I appreciate you watching. This was a nice, simple, fun video. I'll be back in another few days with another video. Appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.